Your breast is made up of 15 to 20 sections called lobes. Lobes have smaller sections called lobules, which are the glands in your breast that produce milk. These lobes and lobules are connected by tiny tubes called ducts. Your breast also contains blood vessels and lymph vessels. Your lymph vessels carry fluid called lymph, which contains cells that help you fight infection. These lymph vessels lead to tiny bean-shaped organs called lymph nodes, which act as filters that collect and destroy bacteria and viruses. Lymph nodes are found throughout your body, including under your arm, above your collarbone, and in your chest. This anatomy lesson is important because there are different types of breast cancer and each is named for the part of the breast in which the cancer cells originated. The most common type of breast cancer is called ductal carcinoma, which begins in the cells of the ducts. When the cancer stays contained within the ducts, it is called ductal carcinoma in situ, or DCIS. A tumor that spreads outside the duct is known as infiltrating or invasive ductal carcinoma. A second type of cancer is called lobular carcinoma, which begins in the cells of the lobes or lobules. When lobular carcinoma stays contained within the lobe or lobules, it is called lobular carcinoma in situ, or LCIS. But if the cancer spreads outside the lobule, the cancer is called an invasive lobular carcinoma. In some cases, cancer cells spread to other areas of the body. This is what is known as metastatic cancer. Now that we have outlined the different types of cancer, let's discuss the stages of breast cancer and how these stages are determined.